So Doctor Strange is the latest installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes, and it is directed by Scott Derrickson, and it stars Benedict Cumberbatch, She Would Tell Edgy of Four, Rachel McAdams, and Tilda Swinton. I personally thought it was a decent movie. Uh, I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to like it, but I still feel like it's an overall decent movie. Probably to me, the best thing about this movie was the visual effects. It, oh, was, yeah. it was really cool to look at. Yeah, de definitely the two strongest points of this movie is definitely the acting and the visual effects. Because those two, they hit out of the ballpark for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen She Would Tell and Geo 4 in too many things. I never got around to go seeing 12 Years a Slave. I want to, but I haven't seen it. was also The Martian. Yeah. And so I haven't really gotten uh, to know uh, the talent of his acting. And mm -hmm. so after seeing this movie today, I'm like, yeah, this dude's actually a really good actor. Right, yeah. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, I mean, yeah, we, all, we, we all know he's a good actor. But the one thing I, I, I knew he was going to do, but I didn't know he was going to pull off that well was uh, an actual an American accent. Yeah, it's weird seeing his mouth open and American accent popping out other than his normal accent. Yeah, and he really didn't slip up once. I mean, I mean, I usually try to try to pick that out a little bit whenever I watch movies, like whenever I watch The Avengers or Civil War, and I notice that uh, Emily Olsen, Olsen uh, her Russian accent kind of goes off every once in a while. It's not that great. But his Benedict Cumberbatch did really well with his accent, really well with his acting. All the acting was done really well in this movie. Just to bring up the white elephant in the room, the casting of the ancient one, I personally feel I, I, I still wish they would have cast an Asian actor to play the part of the, the ancient one. It didn't have to be an Asian man, just an Asian character or an Asian actor. But that being said, I feel like Tilda Swinton actually did have a pretty awesome performance, so it didn't really take away from the character at all by them casting a white actor to play it. I'm gonna tell you this, not a lot of movies I would recommend seeing in 3D. I mean, we didn't get the best seats in the world to go see this movie, but I could tell from just from sitting in those, those seats, the 3D was actually really cool to see. Because yeah. the, movie's, the movie's just really cool to look at in general. Yeah, it's sort of like an Inception meets a superhero movie. It, it really felt like that. The way the visuals happened is really colorful and everything. Another big thing that I really liked about this movie was the fight scenes I felt were filmed really mm -hmm. well. Whenever somebody was fighting in this movie, I always felt intrigued. Uh, well, I was always I was intrigued quite a bit of this movie, but the fight scenes, I, they were surprisingly filmed well. Yeah, especially with all the magical components of the movie. It was really awesome fight scenes. Yeah, so, yeah considering that some movies, when they had these magical components, You'll see most of the movie, and I'm going to say like Ghost Rider, most of the movie is them just like blasting stuff at each other right. instead of actual fighting, and so they did that really well. So the comedy is something I want to bring up about this movie that really changed the movie for me, to be honest. Most Marvel movies nowadays, in my opinion, use too much humor. Civil War, um, The Winter Soldier are like the only two that I feel like ha didn't go over the top with the comedy, but I feel like this one, they try to use humor a little bit too much. It, not as much as other Marvel movies, but I feel like it, it sort of took away, it sort of cheapened the feel of some of the scenes in this movie, and I feel like it could have been a lot better if they took out a lot of those humor scenes. I actually didn't feel that strongly uh, against it as you did. I'm not a huge fan of Marvel's humor. I feel like movies like this shouldn't be as humorous as they are, but uh, I felt like the humor wasn't nearly as bad as all of them, but like you said, obviously. but. Um, the type of character that they made for Doctor Strange, I felt like the humor fit him. Now all the now all the other humor, I will say that there are a few times whenever the humor is kind of off, and it made it feel a little strange and weird. But strange, the, yeah, strange. <laughs> you know? But uh, Doctor Strange character, they, what, the what they made for him, I felt like the humor fit. And there was a few times whenever his humor didn't. It didn't land very well, but they even kind of covered that in a slight way. They had someone kind of make fun of his jokes for not being funny. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, cool, so it makes sense. And But other than that, other than his character, there was some other comedy there that didn't, didn't fit and it also didn't land. So those points in time, I wasn't a huge fan of that. The music in this was definitely one of the stronger points too, but I feel like, again, the comedy I feel the the music aspect was a lot more intense and dramatic, which is why I wanted the mu movie to be, but then the comedy sort of didn't really match the intenseness and dramatic music that was going along with it. Also, I understand this movie's a, uh, okay, I'm not gonna say strange, a very weird movie. Okay, I understand that, and so there's things that have to be explained to us, but these things that have to be explained to us only need to be explained once. 
okay? Because there is a few times whenever they'll, they'll explain some power that they have at the, at the beginning of whenever they first show it, and then later on when he uses it, he'll be like talking to the villain and he'll explain it to us again. I, I heard this the first time and I'm pretty sure this villain knows exactly what this power is, so the only reason why you're explaining it is for the sake of the, the viewers and you're treating us, us like idiots. It's not like I'm angry, but it's, just, it's, it's one thing I felt like they should have just kind of just, just pushed to the side. I only explained it that one time because other than that it wouldn't make any sense. At the beginning of this movie, he's sort of learning how to use his abilities, the magical abilities. I feel like they sort of rushed through that. I feel like he was, he learned how to use his powers a lot quicker than what would have made sense. And sometimes even if not that, they might have cut out so many parts that it felt like it was really quick for him to get right. anywhere. Also, there's a lot of scenes where it didn't take the characters a lot of time to make decisions. I'm not going to go into detail of what they are, but there would be times whenever a character would be placed in a certain situation and he had to or she had to figure out some way out of it or figure out what to do and it was very quickly done. Sometimes there might even need to be more of a conflict in one scene to figure out, to make a decision, and they totally just, no conflict at all. You could tell there was some, but it didn't stop him at all, and he just went right for it. And so I felt like those should have been slowed down a little more. Some of this movie should have taken a little bit more time in some of their things. So overall, I really did enjoy this movie. I had a lot of fun with it. I'd highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, there are obviously those few those few problems that I have with it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a B. Overall, I felt that this movie didn't really meet the expectations I had for it. But at the same time, I felt like it wasn't a horrible movie, so I'm gonna give it a B minus. So guys, that's it for our Doctor Strange review. And before we go, we want to bring up one little thing. As you saw earlier, we actually were hit with our very first copyright claim. Isn't that great? Awesome. So, yes, yeah, so our video, The Six Bad Endings to Good Movies, has a copyright claim on it, and we just want to yeah. bring that out. And because, so it can't be viewed in other countries. Yes, also, um, with our 136 subscribers, all the millions we make off of those 136 <laughs> subscribers, we can't make it off that video, sadly. So, you know, and we just want to bring that up because we... And also we want to bring up that that video was fully legal onto yeah. the Fair Use Act. And we just want to talk about that for just that little bit of time. Because I just found that really funny. But thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, we really greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to follow us and uh, like our Facebook page and Twitter page and all our social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And they're all at Two Awesome Men, the number two, not the word. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe either and watch our other videos, including the video we just talked about, because it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. I'm not going to go that far, actually. It's good. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much, and you will see us later. I'm going to try it on, and I'll be right back for you guys. Okay, so guys, I have the suit on now, obviously. Uh, it actually looks really good. It was really hard to get on. It took about like 30 minutes to get on.